Yes, originally, of course, a country tune, and uh, Engelbert decided to uh, release that in the 60s and get that to uh, number one. OK, my special guest this afternoon is PC Andy Robinson. He's from the South Yorkshire Police. And th- we've just been talking. I don't think I've seen him for two years. How can anyone be so good-looking and looks younger than I saw him two years ago? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very kind, Mel, and uh, Merry Christmas to all your listeners and to you as well. You're right. OK, great time, Christmas, but Christmas always brings problems and one of the problems is well many things we're going to talk about many things but one of the things is we all get presents and we all have a laptop or whatever we have and the bin gets full and you put it outside the bin and what happens mr joe burglar says they've got a laptop i'm gonna get in there you're absolutely right i mean what we want to try and do today is not obviously not frighten people to death before Christmas because it's a happy time and if people just take some sensible precautions then they will have a very happy, peaceful and crime-free Christmas, I'm sure. Today I just want to make a few pointers about the sort of things that can happen in and around Christmas which are quite preventable and one of them is, as you suggest, lots of people uh, tomorrow will be getting nice gifts from Santa, perhaps uh, TVs and possibly laptop computers and lovely new mobile telephones and the like. And the temptation is that uh, we all remember when we've got wrapping paper everywhere come midday and boxes and the kids Scoop. are all playing. Absolutely. And we pick it all up and we leave it outside, perhaps in a cardboard box, ready for the bin men to come round or ready for us to take to the recycling point. Now, that really is quite an open advert to people walking past as to what's in the house and the fact that it's all very brand new. Uh, you've received it recently. So if you've got your... And that mainly, you've got one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Without having to step it out. E- exactly. So if, if they can see that there are laptop boxes outside or expensive item boxes outside, then the chances are that anybody walking past will think, well, it might be worth going into that address. What we would suggest is that you fold down the boxes to the smallest packaging area that you can. Mm. And if they will fit in your, in your green recycling bin in Rotherham, then that's great if you can get them all in there so that they're collected next time the the guys come round or if you can compact them to a small area and just maybe put store them in the garage mm. out of sight and then take them yourselves when the recycling centre's open then you're not giving people that clue about you know the fact that you've got you've a got new one. laptop yeah. and you've got a new phone oh of course if your bin's full I mean at least don't have it on the outside saying you know new laser printer turn it inside out tie it up whatever at exactly least it's right. a plane a plane <coughs> cover doesn't tell anything does it that's right and i mean it might be even feasible mel if you if there's nothing you can do just to recite your bin so it's around the back of the house rather the front of the house for the mm. christmas period then you don't have people passing by noticing things like that uh, i appreciate that sometimes guests are plentiful room is sparse at christmas time because everyone's enjoying the compliments of the season so it can be difficult sometimes to have everything kept within the house or whatever but if you can use the garage, if you can use the shed, if you can, I, my assumption would be, uh, I haven't checked with Rotherham Council, but my assumption would be that come the 27th, the recycling facilities will be open once again for you to take stuff up to. So if you're able to do that and it's comfortable and convenient so to do, then have a try at that as well. Yeah. Let's talk about another thing that happens. Everyone uh, uh, like to enjoy this off at Christmas. And parties. Yes, I, I mean obviously it's that the time of year, isn't it? When we go out and socialise, we have our works functions, we have our parties to go to, we go and socialise with friends. There's various things to just think about before you do that. The first is, in your excitement to get out, make sure what you're leaving behind is safe and secure. So if you're leaving your home and you're nipping out into town for a nice night out or a meal or something like that, then be thinking about what you you do before you go out. Make sure perhaps that you're going to leave a couple of lights on. Uh, lights on in the house or even possibly a radio playing the curtains shut radio playing lights on i've left mine on today coming I, through it. exactly and me too actually and because it, this is this is an absolutely burglar's paradise christmas eve what's under the tree hundreds of presents yes. in each house yeah absolutely and i mean th- that's another issue that we can we can certainly touch upon whilst that's a, a beautiful image pe- presents under the tree and we're on Christmas Eve now, but if if you are going to put them out, put them out this evening when you're in the house, when you're settled in for the evening, and they're there and they'll be open in the morning. But as you say, if you leave them under the tree for a prolonged period of time, it offers temptation to people walking past to wonder what they are and maybe tempted to try and get in to find out. Mm. When you're going out at night, think about your 
leaving lights on, think about leaving a radio play, not leave a TV on, that's not necessarily great and they can get warm and it's not particularly the best of ideas and obviously think very carefully about leaving Christmas lights on. Uh, our friends in the fire service will will warn you against doing that, and rightly so. They can be a bit temperamental. Um, <laughs> and burst into flames. <laughs> yeah. So, what we want are some uh, just a standard lamp or something like that on in a radio yeah. plane. So when you go out, make sure you lock the door, make sure that the lights are on, the radios on, the curtains are drawn. Give the impression that you're in when you're out. Think about how you're going to get to town, and just as importantly, how you're going to get home. So it's not the time this time of year, it's not the time any time of year, but especially this time of year, it is not the time to be drinking and driving. No. And the temptation is there because there are lots of people out and the taxis don't seem to be as many when there's lots of folks about because they soon get snapped up. Yeah. Think about if you're going out for a drink, booking a taxi to pick you up at the end of the evening from a reputable company that you've used before and that you know are reliable, get them to pick you up at a pre-arranged point and time so that you know that you're safe home, make sure that you've saved some money from your uh, from your plunder that you're taking out with you to make sure you've got the funds to get you home as yeah, well. And I think another thing, I mean, years ago, I think I would have said to you, and especially young ladies, yeah. but I don't think it is now, is it? I no. think it's male and female are both at risk. Yes, I think so. I mean, obviously, um, the dangers of drink manifest themselves across the, the gender gap because um, ladies, the... the the issue would be that they can be fairly vulnerable if they're on their own and they've had a drink. Mm. Guys perhaps might be relieved of a mobile phone or something like that when they're worse for wear. And that's the thing, if you are going out in a, on an evening and you're going out with friends, stick together. And if somebody does become worse for wear, then think about taking them with you, yeah. popping them in a taxi, getting someone to collect them. Don't abandon them and let and think, oh, it's funny, isn't it, old so-and-so, look at him, he's, he's K-lied. No. Not and, good, is it? Well, unfortunately, they're vulnerable, and potential is there for them to be a victim of. Yeah, because I mean, he's got wallets and money and credit cards, and because I mean, you need all these things these days, and mobile yes. phones, and you know, and if his dad had a one over the eight, and he don't know whether he's in Rotterdam or Rotterdam. <laughs> exactly right. He wants yeah. to. We want to make sure if he, if he's your friend. You're, I would say you're contractually obliged really to try and look after him and make sure you get home that's what friends are for that's and just before the break let's talk about people who are going to have a party at home enjoy it by all means the best thing to do I've always done is enjoy, and gone round and, and said to the neighbours I'm having a party t t tonight would you like to come Absolutely, and th there's nothing worse, and I, I was saying to you before we came on air that I've recently been working in uniform, as you know, mm. and on a number of occasions I've been to parties where the neighbours are frustrated because the people next door are having a party, the guys next door have got young children, yeah. and it's keeping them awake, and there are people in the garden being very rowdy and noisy, and actually when you go and see them from our perspective, they very often calm down quite quickly and, and everything's okay. But the simple fact is, if you keep people included in, the, in, in your plans and tell them and invite them along if necessary and yeah. say, look, well, we will, it's, it is New Year's Eve, we will be having a party, but by one o'clock it will be quiet and people will be making the way, yeah. then I'm sure that that's the way to that's go about it. it. It's being reasonable. It's thinking about others, and that's, that's something that we've all got to try and do these days. It's not just about us having a good time. It's making sure that our good time doesn't infringe upon others and make them have a poor time. Yeah, that's right. The people are very selfish, though. Aren't they? There, there is a selfishness about sometimes in in people's attitude, and we've got to try and get over that. It's Christmas, isn't it? It's a mm. time to be goodwill to all men and look after one invite, another. Invite everybody. Absolutely, bring people around. Make sure you have a good time, and but try not to invite us in in uniform cars later in the evening if it goes wrong. Thanks, Andy. It's on a train with Ashley Monroe and Bruises. See your stick. 